In today's video, you'll learn how to easily create and save templates in Gmail. So if you've ever struggled with having to write the same kind of email, the same kind of reply all over again, when what you really need is to automate the process and save time, keep watching. I'll show you the best way to create and save templates that look professional, go beyond text and are really engaging. This is perfect if you write, for example, newsletters. And the good news is that this is an advanced tutorial, meaning we will go beyond the basic Gmail option and show you really how you can take your emails to the next level, focus on the content that matters and get in touch with your email list more frequently. If you enjoyed this video, remember to like and subscribe so you can receive more helpful tips. Let's start with Gmail basic option. You'll need to enable this option first by going to your settings, then all settings, advanced, and make sure to go to templates, tick enable, and then scroll down and save changes. Now, every time you either reply to an email or compose a new one, which is what I will do here for this demo, then you can just enter your text, make sure to add the subject. If you have an email signature, make sure to remove it before you save your templates. Otherwise, when you actually use the templates, the signature will be doubled. So. Once you make sure that you have your title and your text ready, you can click on more options, the three vertical dots next to the trash icon, and then hover on templates, and then choose save draft as a template, and then save as a new template, and make sure to give it a name, and click save. Next time you either reply to someone or compose a new email, you can just go straight away to the three dots and templates, and click on the template that you want to add, and it automatically Populates. If you want to manage your templates, maybe delete some of them. Same kind of process, you just go to more options, templates, and then you could click delete template and then choose the template that you'd like to delete. There are still a few downsides to this method. First of all, you might have noticed that when you click on more, you need to hover on templates and then eventually, if just like me, you might have lots of templates, you need to scroll down a whole list and make sure that you're adding the right one. There's no way to really see it visually. Uh, it's a little bit jumbled up together. And also, if you want to save as a template, you need to hover here and then go to save as a new template. So all in all, it's about, you know, three to four steps to either add a template or save a template. So maybe not the quickest. Um, another downside is that this is good for only text emails, but, you know, those emails are not necessarily super engaging. If you'd like to add, for example, GIFs, or maybe you want to add a table, you might not have this option to save as a template on here. And there's a workaround, which I will show you next, playing around a little bit with coding. For some people, this will be easy enough. Okay, so now let's talk about the second option. If you're looking to create more professional emails that are truly engaging and include, for example, call to action buttons or tables, images, videos, GIFs, etc., and you know your way around a little bit of code, HTML, CSS, then this option might be a good one for you. So what I did is that I created some HTML HTML for this button, for example, we have an internal communication blog if you want to check it out. And so you're going to copy this uh, HTML that you've created and then we'll go back to Gmail. And now we need to add an emoji. And what we're going to do is basically use this emoji as a placeholder and then just paste our code. So highlight the emoji, then go to inspect. And now you see that the console opens and shows you exactly where is your emoji in the code. Right click on here and then select edit as HTML, then select everything and you're going to paste the code from your HTML, in my case, a button, and then just save this. Okay, and here you go, your call to action button appears and it's working well. So this is a nice little trick if you know your way around code and you want to add a little bit more engaging elements to your newsletters. Now, it's not perfect either. For example, I created a table again with HTML, this one here, and I sent it to myself and I'll show you the result. The reason why this is happening, so you see all the formatting has been lost, the styling is lost. It's just because a lot of email providers, including Gmail, impact your code and impact, in this case, the CSS. You could remedy this by playing around with maybe an inline CSS app or software, but again, it's going to take some time and of course some coding knowledge. So what if you don't have any coding or design experience, but you really want an easy way to save email templates in Gmail that look professional, beautiful, and engage with your audience with various types of media from documents, images, video, GIFs, tables, call to action buttons, and even internal navigation, we've got a great tool for you. It's called Publicate. 
Once you've installed the Publicate Chrome integration, you will see this Insert Publication button and you just click on it to see all of your newsletters. They show as thumbnails, so it's really easy to pick and find the one you will send. And here you go, your email is ready to send. With the Publicate Gmail extension, it's just so easy to import your templates to your email draft. And what's awesome too is that with Publicate, you get over 200 free professional templates covering all types of industry from sales and marketing to internal communications, HR, education, and so on. And you can also create and save your own email template in their easy drag and drop email builder. So with Publicate, all your templates are available directly from your Gmail draft. You're not limited in terms of the design, media, call to action, and other engaging features that you want to add. It's super easy to pick the one you need because you can see them visually. Not to mention that you can use your own template, but also free templates already provided. If you've been looking to level up your email communication with a tool that's user-friendly and time efficient, give Publicate a go. They offer a free 14 days trial, which we will add a link for in the description below. And you can also have a look at their website by going to publicate.it. And then you can browse through all the free newsletter templates that they offer. And you can even choose the theme that interests you. For example, if you are into e-commerce and maybe you want to check all the sales templates and human resources, they've got lots and lots of templates that are ready to use and you can start your trial from there as well. So I hope this was helpful. We've got more videos on this channel that can help you with saving and creating templates for Outlook, for Gmail, or for any type of email provider or CRM that you'd like to use. So feel free to check all of our videos and also let us know what kind of templates do you need? What kind of industry do you work in and what kind of software, email, CRM, or um, other type of marketing platform do you use? We'd really like to know how we can help you best. So feel free to comment below and remember to subscribe if you want to get more helpful tips. Until next time.